I am Iron Man. You serious? How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another X Men review. Today we got Christian Hopkins, Big Beef, Jenna Morgan. Today we're talking about Deadpool 2, the sequel to one of our probably Dead, collective favorites. Sequel to Deadpool. Sequel to Deadpool. That is literally what it says on Disney Plus. It says the sequel to the first one. And it's what it says underneath, underneath the description. It's so funny. Um, Dude, I want to get my issues with the movie out of the way first because I have. Russell. Some, I have some issues. I have some issues because our rewatch this movie did go up. Russell. Five kids terrible. Russell. And so much you in the movie fire focuses fist? on him. Fire you Fist. Fire Fist. Cool yeah. name. Your name is Fire Fish. Why did they make him Jason Statham but why, a kid? Why did they make him a minion? They do. When they put him in prison, they did make him a minion. He a big. He a big boy. Not anymore. I mean, not anymore. The <laughs> acting is. Uh, he's also. No, his acting's bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, also, some of his times are just so cringy. Like when Chuck pulling himself away in the invisible rope, I went, you what the f- Dude, that shit was what? hilarious. Right, at, right after he just watched a man get ripped in. No, dude, that shit was hilarious, bro. <laughs> I was like... Look, you just didn't get the joke, man. You just didn't, <laughs> you just didn't get it. If you think Russell Bay, you just don't get the movie, dude. You just don't get the movie. Well, yeah, with, with how much of the movie focuses on that character, yeah. Uh, no, he's bad. Uh, CGI isn't great. At moments, it's noticeably not great, but other... I think most of the time it's not great. The most heavy use of CGI... The, mo- <laughs> the most heavy use of CGI is Juggernaut versus Colossus, and I think that looks fine. Ah, uh, nah, dude, the fact that, like, Deadpool himself was like, CGI fight! CGI fight coming! And then it went crazy. Dude, that fight was fire. We haven't talked about Deadpool yet. And then we'll get to him in a second. Deadpool was pretty cool. I, like I feel like there's really nothing up well aside from what he goes through in this. He doesn't get better, he doesn't get worse because he was already the best he could be. He was already yeah, the best he, he could be. Yeah. I mean, uh, Ryan Reynolds, name another one that's like as good as him. Nolan North. That's live action. Okay. Well, there hasn't there hasn't been one. <laughs> been fun one. fact, there has been. And guess who played him? Wait. Ryan Reynolds did. And I talk about it. It is technically a different adaptation, but it is the same man. This Deadpool. That's better than this one, though. I hate you. Oh, God. That's the best Deadpool I've ever seen. <laughs> on, on. But the fact that this entire movie is just him wanting to die, because Vanessa kind of gets... And the entire God, movie thank, is... Thank this. God I didn't have to use the butter. The butter. The, what does he call it? The cream... The cream cheese spreader. Yeah, the cream, cream cheese spreader. Cream cheese spreader. Cream cheese and then he, there's one last guy and he misses. And then Vanessa gets shot. Yes, he missed. Well, he hits the gun. Because the gun was initially pointed at no, him. No, he doesn't hit the, hit the gun. He hits straight into the wall. Does that mean he was aiming at Vanessa? No. Well, no, we're talking about Deadpool throwing the knife. When well, he was, he was aiming at Deadpool, and then while he was trying to while dodge While he was trying to dodge it. it. That's I, what I mean, mean. Like, realistically speaking, if you're getting something thrown at you like that, no, you're it, not no, going to I'm saying it's about to hit the gun. It goes right past the gun because he's dodging it, and then he does this, and he fires. Oh, no, it's still passed oh. over on the other side. So the it. knife hits the, like, the door frame. Yeah. I'm not saying it's him. I'm saying when he's dodging it, it goes like it, right. It, 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 goes, it causes him to slightly. Because if he yeah. hadn't, if he had fired right there, it would like it. It would have hit because he dodges it, and it goes right over the gun. No, that's not how that happened. That's not that's how that happened. happened. No, that's it, not how it happened. It hit the door frame. To yeah, his it hit the door. Right. It hit the yeah, it hit the door frame. No, it hit the door frame to his left. It looked weird. Okay. <laughs> He dodged the wrong way. He did. He dodges the no, wrong way. No, he flinched way. into it. He, fl- he flinches it. into it. He flinches, he dodges towards it. Yeah. Okay, that's why I didn't understand it, because I thought when he's dodging it, he's dodging away from it and it goes over, no, because that's what it makes it look like in the shot. No, it's a Deadpool mess. But that being so much of the reason behind in this movie, like he just wants to die, and then it becomes, like, oh, his heart has to be in the right place. So he says it to setting the kid straight. And then that's what happens. And then that's another issue. I feel like his dead scene at the end, they drag out too long. They did. That's the point. It's funny. Well, but they're, they're, you drag it, you drag it like what's like, oh, one more thing. But then they keep it going for the two. Yeah, it's funny. It <laughs> was funny at first, and then they dragged it. I think it's funny. No, because he goes, oh, oh, can y'all see that light too? Oh, no, that's the sun. It's funny. Yeah, I mean, at first it was. Well, because you, I think you knew for a fact he wasn't dying. Nope, I don't think there's a lot of people that thought he was dying. 
much. No, he definitely wasn't dying, but it's like... So I think it's affected because I don't think that scene is supposed to be sad because I think we all knew that they were not going to kill Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think it's fine because they... If it was, if, it was, if the scene was supposed to be sad, then yeah, that's kind of dumb. But it's not even like it's not even I thought it was sad because I did think it was funny. I just felt like it went on too long to where it didn't. I wasn't sad or laughing. It was more just like, okay. Oh, that can that can uh that can tie into another thing for another character's premise being a all around fire kid. Cable. Uh, excuse me, Cable. Thanos. They do make a Thanos joke because this movie came out um, like a couple weeks after Infinity War did. But he had been he had been Thanos for a lot longer. Yeah, yeah. Because he was Thanos first in Guardians of the Galaxy, which came out twenty third, fourteen, fourteen. So I think Thanos and Age of Ultron too. Yeah, it was. Yes, fine. I'll do it myself. Yeah. Uh, but I think that I think they're going to reference that Deadpool and Wolverine if I had to guess because. Because how this movie ends, we'll get to... How this movie ends, he stays in the present. We'll explain how. Later. Yeah. He stays in the present, which means during Deadpool Wolverine, he's around somewhere. Yeah. So I think they're going to reference him being Thanos. And stuff. I'm also yeah. curious if Domino's going to show up as well. That's true, because Domino is alive in theaters. We'll talk, yeah. about, talk about her in a little bit. Uh, I mean, we do want to talk about her just because there's not much to talk about. Is she lucky? She comes in for... Much we can talk about the rest of the X-Force because it's funny. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think Domino was a fire, like the person that played her. Yeah. I think the setup, the character development was actually pretty good. Power is dope. Power is pretty dope. Um, most of the people in the X-Force, though. Die. Brad Pitt goes crazy. Brad, Brad Pitt is in this movie. Brad Pitt goes crazy. Because Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Terry, Terry. 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 How? Okay, but here's the thing. He dies that way. Terry? Yeah. He died. He, what was his power again that he says? He can control electricity. Electricity. Or manipulate it. Yeah, manipulate electricity. He dies by running headfirst into a bus and a wall. Yes, that probably hurt. It's Terry Crews. He's a big man. <laughs> he, it would probably hurt the bus more than him. Yeah. Let's be real here. But It's not even just the bus. It was just like a, through the windshield. Which yes, it was through the windshield of the bus, yes. Which again, would hurt, but we don't really see much of it. No, so you just see him... It, you see him crash into it, you see Devil react, and then it shows him like hanging through the window. Yeah, and it's like... Well, he does get down, and the people are pulling him out of the thing, trying to give him CPR. I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't see that? No, I was in the background of it. They were trying to give him CPR, I didn't see that. Off the it's where Deadpool was talking to Domino. It's like, yeah, everyone's dead. Yeah, and then fucking Brad I was just Pitt. staring at Deadpool. Because Brad Pitt falls off from the wire and just smacks on the ground. The fact, the yeah, so the whole thing about him is his character is invisible. And so, do they say anything about Brad Pitt prior to that? No. It was just a surprise that Brad Pitt was there. Yeah. Because yeah. he gets electrocuted, and when he gets electrocuted, you see him for a split second, and it's Brad Pitt. And it's <laughs> like Brad Pitt. Um, which I love that this is the second time, or it's the first time that he played an invisible character in a Ryan Reynolds movie. Because recently in the movie If, there's the invisible If that he keeps tripping over, and that's also Brad Pitt. Which is a reference. For gotta sure. Be. Gotta yeah, be. it's gotta be. What's his, what's his, hold on, what's the gear thing? Keith! Keith! <laughs> Never saw the movie, but I just remember that. Um, what are the one? Oh, uh, Bill Skarsgård. I forgot he has the dude that spits acid and kills Peter. He does kill Peter. But then, but then he's back. He's fine. Hey, dude. Um, no, but those are really the only memorable. But I forgot that Bill. I forgot that Bill Skarsgård was in this movie. He's like, uh, as far as like with considering like Pennywise, almost an A-lister. Yeah, almost. Yeah. He's really like. Especially, he's got a new movie coming out soon, doesn't he? That could be yeah, the, the Crow. The Crow, yeah, the remake. I need to watch the original for that because I'm watching the original. I mentioned that. Stupid. So I, I was just there's a lot of well known actors in this movie there is. because this, I mean, this shows the X Men at one point. It does. It shows the cast for the, cast. the next for who all does it show? Movies. You see Quicksilver, you see Beast, you see Scott, you see James McAvoy, you see. I think you see Mystique. I don't know. I need to look at that. Picture. So is it is it like taken from a different movie, or did they get all of them to come on the set? I think they got all of them to go on the set. That's crazy. I think that's, <laughs> that's insane. That's it for the characters. What are some TJ Miller? Don't you dare disrespect my man. Oh like that. yeah. I love TJ Miller. I'm he's very sad that he's not going to be in the new one. Yeah. But he is. He is like aside from obviously Deadpool. I think he's the best part of both of them. Valid. I do think he's what does he say? He okay. So when De when Deadpool gets ripped in half by Juggernaut, he's growing a, t a tiny like lower body. 
he goes, it looks like you see his little wee wise is here. <laughs> no, but um, he goes, TJ Miller goes, it looks like you're giving birth through the butt, but stopped halfway. No, I look right before he says that, and Wagers goes, don't let him start. And here we go. And here we go. Although also that he's right behind you, isn't he? He's right behind you. I love it's not that he's not he's behind me. It's he's right behind you. We you can know where I am yeah. currently looking. We can so right funny. You, we can make an entire video just going over the funny moments in this. Like it's there's Deadpool. a lot of lines that are hilarious. It's, it's, so it's, it's, Deadpool. It's, it's, it's a Deadpool movie. These, de- these movies are so funny. It's Deadpool. Uh, but in terms of just some really cool scenes, the prison scene. Where Wade and Cable first fight, I think that's that's awesome. fire. Actually. I think no, that was fire. The dubstep went crazy. Dude called himself, himself Batman. First off, first off, what is that? Uh, is dubstep still a thing? Second, what is the second thing he says? I should know this. I know like a bunch of the quotes in this uh, movie. I quoted this movie a couple times, especially the first time. Don't they ask the video take? Don't they ask the video take up? Which literally translates to I don't bargain, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Uh, yep. <laughs> I know that because of Walker Scobell. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't remember, but like, uh, just, just, uh, yeah. yeah, the uh, the convoy scene where they fight again. All the he teabags him. He teabags him. <laughs> no, the <laughs> reference to X Men Origins Wolverine. Where he, where he, where he yes, where he the in half, and then he keeps doing it, and you get a side because he where does he the hit, he does he, the three sixty thing that he does in X Men Origins, and he's deflecting some of them, but then he gets a side view where he's deflecting some, and then you just see blood going straight through him. So it's like some are being yeah, because even it, because even if you split it in half, it's still gonna like if you split one in half vertically, it's still gonna yeah, and even and, and, even, and, even, and, even, and even if not that. It just shows the huge He's missing, He's some missing of some. Them. And I think that's so funny. Oh my god. Um, and then that's also where we get our proper introduction to a cool juggernaut. Really good juggernaut. Dude, this juggernaut will do his Because of, and then and then Deadpool like is geeking out. Oh my god! Cause, cause I should have worn my white pants. I should have worn my white pants. <laughs> and then he's just fanboying as Jerry like, runs up to him, pulls him by, and like, I'm gonna rip you in half. Oh, no, no, just a deep voice, but he's like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna rip you in half, half now. now. And he's like, that's the majority. That's a reference to the, the him saying I should have worn my white pants. Is a reference to him saying, see, this guy has the idea. He, he wore the brown pants. pants. Exactly. Villain non-existent, really, in term, in, because Russell's not. I mean, Russell's the villain. You could it's say like, it was Cable. You could say it was Juggernaut. And you could say it was the little, the weird dude, the weird, like, the weird guy that is the head Fire of Fire Fist. Yeah, you could say it was I was gonna say the head, the one that like the head of the orphanage. Yeah. The first part of the movie, it is Cable, and then he's an ally at the very end, and then it becomes the kid and. Because Juggernaut. because Cable's whole motivation is he wants to kill Fire Fist because Fire Fist in the future he's from what does he say fifty something like that fifty years in the future kills his family mm-hmm. for evidently no reason it wasn't uh, not uh, no uh, reason he was on the hunt for him anyways and he was on the hunt for Cable yeah well no Cable was on the hunt for, the hunt for him, him yeah, and okay. he knew that and uh, I think he had killed the people that he knew and in order to get back at Cable he went to his you know, home and killed his wife. Right. Okay. Yeah, it was something that they had, like they were both essentially just enemies in the future, and and, the, and he went, oh, okay, well this kind of hurt him. And so he only had enough time juice. That's what I'm gonna call it because that's basically what it is. Yeah. One yeah. jump there, one jump back. Yeah. Which for you know lazy writing purposes. Was <laughs> that's just lazy writing. He says that like three or four times in this movie. Yeah. That's just lazy writing. Oh yeah, because it was the one code thing in the collar at the very end where it was like it's not gonna be one code because Domino says try seven and then he touched it and Deadpool goes, That's lazy writing. Because you know he said, Well that's just lazy writing. Yeah, because, because that's fine. because that's I mean, it kinda lets you write lazily because you can write it off as a joke. Yeah. It's good. It's, yeah. it's the movie to do that and they exploit it in a really good way. Um Oh, I'm well, Domino's fool! Like you already got the hint with the vehicle messing up was fire. That's literally. What but I was then say. again, also witnessing her save the kids from the orphanage with just her look was pretty cool. It was insane to watch the dude get like stuck with like I guess like grates or some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Like falling on top of him, and then a whole cabinet just falls over and, and decapitates him. And you're just like, yep. Um, and okay. then like, what? What was it that like? 
Juggernaut threw a bus into the building. Yeah, he goes bus. Yeah. And then the kids are able to exit the building through, through the bus. And it was like a slide that was yeah. awesome. That was Dude, fun. That, that, yeah. I would do that. I would, <laughs> I would do that. Slide. Like, I would remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed by the wicked who are healed by my hand is Blessed an, healed an insane line. Which he says, and then don't you see future Russell say it? Yeah, he says yeah. you see future Russell say it, and then Wait, but, and then he kills the, the family, and then you, and then he says it again because he's saying. That sounds like that happened to you. I hear by my eyes. That sounds like some like bi- biblical stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. Which I'm assuming is the point. But yeah, so Deadpool, after turning the kid away, is now trying to win him back over and yeah, puts he, the collar back on. And Cable says like, "Oh, I'm thirty seconds to do this," and then he jumps in the way of a bullet meant for the kid. From table. Please tell me somebody got that in slow, slow motion. motion. Um, and because he has the collar on, he like, and which could have been taken off easily, but Colossus could have ripped it off. But Deadpool wanted to die, and he does for a little bit. Which it's funny because he's blocked by this wall to get to Vanessa, and then when he's finally able to pass through, he goes from like back to regular Ryan Reynolds. To the yeah, soul he leader. goes back to the non-cancered he, and like mutated. That's one of the parts of me that I really like. Is there's multiple I have three separate times he goes to this like. Hit his light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. And there's the wall. Really well crafted scene. Yes. Really good. I think weirdly enough, what the Deadpool movies do exceedingly well, like you wouldn't expect this out of Deadpool movies movie, to do better than most other This movie does movies. emotion actually pretty good. It decent. does emotion very well. This movie does emotion pretty good. And I mean like Which really shows Deadpool's thinking. not all running it back to the to Vanessa being killed and him jumping out of the building. Yes, him jumping out after him. Like first off, that sequence was crazy. I was gonna say like wh- whenever she first dies, it he like yells, but and then you don't like, see the, you can't hear the it's sound just, cuts ah. out, which is they. I mean, a lot of movies do that, but it's very effective when it does it. Oh, and then let's let's run it back to the intro. Whereas, like, the, the intro credits that we had... James Bond! Oh, it's James so Bond's cool! And it's so much Celine it's all, enti- it's all entirely CGI, but then also, like... And it, looks, we, and it looks good! We, yet again, for a second time, we got directed by, created by, produced by, and it's just random things. Uh, it, it, what was it? It's like, it said, like it, it said, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah it said directed by the real villains is what the it real said. The real villains. Because before that, it was, like, it was like, produced by, wait a minute, and then it went to another scene, and it was like, did, did they just, just kill her? Did she just die? And, and it's yeah. like, what the... F- what the flip? And there's just, another one that says, "What does it say?" I can't wait for the opening credits of this third. I know. Movie. I think. I think this third one. Like, I, what's crazy is I've watched both of those movies like four or five times, and I never paid attention to that. I never noticed because it. I, I, I can't know, pick which so one I like better because the first one's in the car. First I think really the, good. No, the, the first car. one's really good because it's an entire slow motion. But this one, than this one, which makes me curious as to what they're gonna do for the third. What one. song is playing uh, in the first one? X going to give it to you? No, it went in the car. During the intro. Was it not? No, it's slow. Because that's in the credits. The, um, the opening, it's... Looking it up. I can't... I'm like... I'm remembering the Because this one is a song sung by Celine Dion. Yeah. Like an original song sung by Celine Dion. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, so he dies for a bit, and then Cable uses his last little bit of juice to go back Which and... Which is really good, Alters have been... Uh, Angel the of the Morning by Juice. The, okay. Um, and also a bit of a scene where yeah. he like pats him on the shoulder, but then slides the coin that he took into into dead. Yes, yeah, he pats him on the shoulder. Yeah, and, like slides into his pocket. So and when he shoots him, it hits the because it's, it's pure lead. His oh, leg. No, and I love what Deadpool. Um, and, and then I love what Deadpool says when he realizes he's like because he immediately knows because he goes, "You time slagging son of a bitch." Because he knows that wasn't there. Yeah. He knows for a fact that wasn't there. And also, it it did, and also, it didn't make sense for him to, like, pat him on the shoulder because Deadpool goes, what's this? Yeah. So. Um, so, yeah, it has that. And then and we have that funny scene with the um, with the okay. code. And then when Dopinder runs over the headmaster, it's <laughs> so. He keep runs <laughs> It's like, gotcha. Um, Fighting Ten-year-old girl. Kirsten Dunst. Um, so at the end of this movie, What's Deadpool has your toe? Deadpool has Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Yukio. I forgot that was her name. Um, Justin Bieber. Justin yeah, Bieber. Uh, has them <laughs> fix the watch he goes, he goes, to where it can have Bieber. infinite uses. And mm. Deadpool is just jumping through the top. First jumps to save Vanessa, explaining why she's in the movie. This is post. This is post credits, right? Yeah. Yes. So if you hadn't stayed, you would be like, 
you would show up at Deadpool Wolverine and be like, I thought you died. Yeah. Well, it's it's very short after the credit starts. And also, mid credit, walking, mid credit. So if people were mid walking out, okay. then they would have caught. I it. thought I thought it was in credit, but no, it's mid credit. No, it's like the That's credits good. start and then it goes to scene. So if it's, people started walking it's out. It's some of the best mid credit scenes I've ever, I've ever seen yeah. because funny. Yeah. Also, in Marvel movies nowadays, I don't think many people are getting are leaving. No, 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 no. So no. there's a scene directly after that where he goes to another point in time. Origins Wolverine. That's one. That's of not them. the one. That's one of them where he goes back and shoots the other Deadpool in the head. The last yeah. one. The last one's Green Lantern. Where he sees Ryan Reynolds reading the the script of Green Lantern. Goes, You're welcome, Canada. And there's some other scene because he after, and it's playing. If I could turn back time, such a good song. What's the other scene? Because there's another scene between the origin Wolverine and then saving Vanessa. X Force. X Force. Yeah, he saves Peter. Peter. Yes, he saves Peter. He saves Peter. So that's how he's in the new one too. Rest in peace, Brody. Um. Because he's in the new movie too, so it explains why both he and Vanessa are there. And that's it. It's it's a Deadpool movie. All in all, I'll say it was better than I remembered. It, yeah, it's, it's better. It's than still I like I knew, I knew I liked. I knew it was good. It's not as good as I hope, but I'm telling you, from what I've heard for reviews, I'm guessing that you know Deadpool three or Deadpool and Wolverine is probably going to be one of the best X Men movies, if not the best X Men movie. Too. Yeah. Uh, I. But so final scores go. What did I, um, shoot, what did I do the first Deadpool? Uh, I want to say it was like around the 9.5-ish. Two pick, yeah. Um. Because I know I was a 9.3 and you were definitely higher than I was. Eight. Flat. I give Same. it. Same. Eight flat. Eight out of ten. I give it a 7.9. Okay, so we're so all pretty much the exact same. Russell brings it back two whole points for me because that is really the only big thing I, and that's really the only and thing. And the entire I, movie centers around him. Yes, for sure. And so, it is a good concept for a story. It's a great concept for a they story. They also didn't have the rights to bring in like Sinister and stuff. So Yes. I think I don't think it's the writing that's bad. I think it is legitimately the kid. The he kid has is a, so he bad. has a strong Irish Presence. Irish accent. Yeah, that too. It's more or less Australian. But. Australian, that's what I meant. Anyways, but yeah, it's the kid. The kid's not a good actor. No, it's the kid. Like the kid's the biggest thing. Like the CGI yeah, and the one scene biggest, I have a problem. The, the CGI and the one scene I have a problem with is stuff that I can like, <coughs> like whatever. It's primarily the kid. The kid brings it back like so. If it, if the kid wasn't that bad, I probably would have given this like around like a nine or nine and a half. Probably a nine. Um, yeah, because it's not, I, I don't I still don't think this is good as the first one. It no, it doesn't hit as hard as the first one because the villain the first one I, I legitimately do like. Yeah, the villain I don't. Love, but I don't Francis, Francis. But yeah, I'm gonna agree to do an eight out of ten. It's originally before rewatch. I honestly would have given it a six, but I'll rewatch. There's so much that I like. Well, there's more that I like about it now, and the stuff that is bad is still there. But I was able to excuse it a lot more because everything else in the movie that is good is really good. So if Deadpool Wolverine is as good as we are hoping for, then Deadpool is going by itself as one of the best superhero trilogies ever. But anyways, that's going to do it for our review of Deadpool 2. Stay tuned for next time when we review the final full-length review we're going to do. We'll talk about that one at the very end of that for like five seconds. Where we talk about X-Men Dark Phoenix. Yay. There's going to be some differing opinions on this one. Um, but anyways, be sure to stay tuned for that one. Let us know what you thought of Deadpool 2 down below, and we will see you all next time. See you, Webheads. Bye. Bye.